Let's take a quick look at the scarcity countdown, also known as the evergreen countdown, which is particularly interesting as well. This is a countdown that you can use to create a sense of urgency, a sense of scarcity. You can nudge your customers into making a purchase. Once the user reopens or reloads the page, the scarcity countdown begins again, it resets. We don't have a countdown date over here, so we have to go under extra option. Over here we have our reset time. This is essentially the time your countdown is gonna show and reset after. So if I set it to 90 minutes, it's gonna reset after an hour and a half. And we can also delay this. So over here I have it set to 10 minutes. This means that after the countdown expires, it isn't going to reset until those 10 minutes are over. And if I don't set in a delay, it's going to reset instantly. Just above this, you're going to notice track user data. So what the track user data option does, if you set it to yes, local storage based, is that it stores cookies on your user's browser. If your evergreen content is set to, for example, two hours, and if your user closes the website and then visits it again in an hour, the countdown is not reset, it shows the remaining time, so in this case, it shows another hour. This makes everything appear much more realistic.